Joining us now on the ETF show is Day's Global Advisors founder and CEO, Christopher J. Day. First, Christopher, what's the mission of Day's Global Advisors? Well, Day's Global Advisors is the uh, public vision of our private portfolio management for family offices. And what we trying to do is we're trying to democratize uh, the absolute return strategies that we've been using uh, for core. A lot of times absolute return is seen as a uh, satellite position or as an alternative, but I really want to invoke the uh, philosophy of using absolute return as core, because that is what I've seen over my uh, 20 year career of uh, family office. And what is HF? Well, HF was designed to be the SPY of absolute return. Um, SPY has been the passive index holding for investors for such a long time, and it is it's a great it's a great product. But depending on what you want to use as your core, it can be very volatile. So HF is a way to smooth out those returns using a global macro portfolio with a systematically hedged overlay using our absolute return models. And how does HF work? So HF works by being a global macro portfolio, but with a systematic hedging component. And it's based on our uh, absolute return modeling, but it goes a step more in that it takes advantage of the elegant math of uh, losses. So if you have a 50% loss, you have to make 100% gain in order to get back to break even. Case in point, just in the last two years, though it looks like last year was a bumper year in the indexes, and it, for all intents and purposes, it was. But if you just zoom out to two years, we are just now getting back to break even. So in a way, the math of losses works. There's an importance in the sequence of when those returns are happening. So if you have a large loss early on in your sequence of returns, mathematically, you can have a great average annual return. But the thing is, is in, in reality, you're, you're not making that same return. It's a, it's, a, it's a more volatile ride. And at the same time, uh, you, have to, you have to make up those losses which can take time depending on how severe those losses are. So would you say HF is an alternative or a core allocation? Well, I we designed it and we've always used it as a core allocation. Um, I think as the philosophy starts to take hold, um, people can start to use it as that core allocation. And if not, then they can blend it in with their core allocation in order to slowly get comfortable with it but it was designed as a core allocation and, and it works as a core allocation. Um, uh, the last couple of years, we have been uh, uh, up when the market is down and that you know works to buffer the overall portfolio of uh, you know, different financial advisors, investors, individual investors, uh, et cetera. Building off of that, you mentioned being up when others are down. What have the returns for clients been like? The returns of the clients have been great. Um, we've, you can go and you look this up. We've actually uh, annualized about an, uh, I think about a little more than 11% return right now. We have not had a down year in over half a decade, um, including uh, 2022 when the market was down. And the reason is because we're not timing the market. That's the thing. People look at absolute return or they look at any kind of alternative and they say, hey, we're timing the market. No, what we're doing is we're systematically taking on and off um, our risk exposure. And we look at it more as a management of risk versus timing the market and trying to make large macro calls. Finally, are there any risks that investors should be aware of with a strategy like this one? Absolutely. Um, they're in the they're in the prospectus. Um, sometimes we take on commodity risk. Uh, we do use uh, inverse ETFs for our hedging component to replicate that mathematical hedging overlay. So definitely you can look uh, there. And uh, on top of that, just the normal uh, market risks that would exist with any kind of core portfolio. Well, Christopher, thank you so much for joining us today. 
Thank you so much, Jenna, for having me. And I hope that everybody will uh, consider looking at HF as a core component of their uh, modern portfolio for their clients. And thank you to everyone watching. Once again, that was Day's Global Advisors founder and CEO, Christopher J. Day. And I'm Jenna Dagenhart with Asset TV.